Supporting mental health, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and right now, the Mental Health Matters Jack's Phone Bank is going on right now. It's part of a citywide initiative to help raise awareness for mental health resources in our community. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris joins us live from the phone bank at WJCT Studios, and Janice, callers have less than two hours right now to phone in. Yes, they do have less than two hours, but they'll be able to call the 988 number as well after the time of the phone bank ends. But as you can see, we have people here right now that are taking the phone calls for anyone that needs help. And remember that mental health is a variation of things. It could be that a person is just feeling stressed from work. It could be that a person is depressed. It could be that a person is dealing with PTSD. There's so many different things involving mental health that could impact impact people. Matter of fact, the CDC says there are 20% of people in this country, one out of every five, dealing with a mental illness. So there are resources that people can utilize. You can call right now. The phone just rang again. Someone else is calling right now to get some help. But locally, we also have first responders that deal with some very stressful and dangerous situations. They too need help and they've been getting help through therapy dogs. We met some of those dogs today. Dogs are truly man's best friend, even during a tragedy. Walking from one person to the next, dogs can sense stress and they help soothe us. These therapy dogs are a part of canine for warriors and are trained to comfort military veterans. But the program has expanded to first responders. So I'm very grateful for what they've done for us. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, local law enforcement is highlighting the positive impact of these therapy dogs. Among those first responders impacted is Jacksonville's Sheriff T.K. Waters. Police officers experience daily other people's worst days. They see death, violence, and true depra depravity with as human beings can treat one another. As an agency, we must be vigilant, not only for the physical health of those we serve, and those who serve, but also their mental health and well-being. Sheriff Waters went on to share a very personal story about his son's passing and how their family dog acted similar to a therapy dog. I didn't realize how important canines were or dogs were. You know, you always love them. You always feel them. You always uh, know that they're good to have around. But on August 30th, 2018, my wife and I's life changed forever. And when that change happened, I found my son, my 18-year-old son. Um, he was deceased in my house, in his bedroom. And when I went to the bedroom, I can remember vividly Sam, my dog, laying in front of him. And she truly experienced the impact of the loss. But she put that loss aside because she recognized the importance of taking care of us. Waters said the next day, Sam, their dog, would lay at the front door hoping that his son would walk through. Waters and his wife cherish their dog that has provided love and support. Canines for Warriors has been helping a lot of different agencies and law enforcement, but they've also been helping veterans. In fact, that's how the program started out. There are over a thousand canines deployed throughout the country helping veterans. These therapy dogs pay close attention to how everyone is feeling. Canine for Warriors exists to uh, basically end veteran suicide. Greg Wells is a director with Canine for Warriors. The dogs essentially have the ability to sense the trauma, the stress, sure. what do they what do they get sure. to sense? So the you know the basis of it all is once you establish a baseline cortisol level with these dogs, that is the baseline for the group of or like the, the, the people that they're interacting with. When they notice uh, that, that cortisol level, which is your stress hormone, is off, it's typically because some kind of traumatic incident. The dogs notice the difference in the cortisol level and then they engage with the first responder or veteran making life a little easier after a traumatic situation. And those therapy dogs are currently throughout many counties and different sheriff's offices in Northeast Florida, but also beyond throughout the country, helping veterans as well. You know, the phone bank is still happening right now behind me. You have time to call. You can dial the number 988 or also the number you see on your screen. Someone is waiting right now. They're trained to talk to you, to hear what your issue is, hear what your concern is. It doesn't matter how big or small. Give them a call right now. They are so happy to help you.
Reporting live from the studios of WJCT, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.